Goran Dragic was asked about uh, where his career will end. Oh. And his quote, but maybe I would really end my career together with Luka in a Jersey Dallas Mavs. <laughs> but these are all guesses now. I still don't know where I'm going to play, but I definitely want to play with him someday. Hell yeah. Buy that man out already and let him come here. It, it sounds like he just uh, he made a comment about you know how much he's gonna miss uh, the Heat. I saw another another thing about he's the him. only one, and the other it's thing too is they're it? saying that that trade isn't gone through yet, and there's a possibility of a third team getting in it. So they're saying that it could be Dallas in that trade. So Lowry going to Miami, but then all okay. of a sudden we send pieces to Toronto. Dragic comes here, and it's not like two individual trades because remember once you trade Dragic. And that trade is complete. At least I think this is still a rule. You have to wait sixty days to trade that player if you include other players from Toronto. Okay. So, so the deal is, is like you could still trade for Dragic, I believe, but it's a restriction. If they wanted to throw on some other million dollar piece or something to make salary structure right. or whatever, you can't do it for sixty days. But if you make it a three team trade, you can do all kinds of different things. So, and and real quick before we get into this, Cowboys and there's another little bro breaking news thing happening here about what the, um, the uh, you know Mike we talk about the the on court production and what Dragic can do. Did he disappear last year? A lot of I see a lot more people saying that he, just being alongside Luca is what's important. He can handle the ball a little bit, but more importantly. Again, very few players on this team with experience in the playoffs, and Dragic has an ability, or he understands the kid. He understands Luka and can there, talk to him more about the professionalism of the NBA. There, I I 100% believe there's something to the fit or the environment. Like, we just saw Ricky Rubio score the most points ever against United States basketball in the Olympics. That could be a product of international basketball. But Goran Dragic playing aside Luka, look— we talked about this with Tim Hardaway Jr. I'm a believer in the Luka effect to a certain extent. And if he wants to be here, I love players that want to be here. And I'm fine with it, especially since it sounds like it's going to be a really low-cost move if you can make it happen.